Hi everyone, so let's talk about the find part of the integer of solution for a given equation. So uh, basically you definitely need to know that like, you have two input and then the input is basically based on the z. So if they are actually equal, then you just have to put that into the list, right? So you are given the function id, so which is corresponding function. So you need to give two input based on the x and y. So x and y is between 1 and 1000. Then you are given the uh, integer z. And find the possibility of how many peers you can generate based on the uh, input, right? So uh, I'm going to just quickly just draw a diagram and then uh, you're able to see. So x equal to 1, y equal to 1000, right? And then you just increment your x and decrement your y, right? All right, uh, this is pretty much a solution. So um, for every single time, I will have to uh, use the Cosmo function. So c dot f, right? You have a function f, right? And then you pass in uh, x and y, and if that is equal to z, then you just add the two integer into the list of lists, right? And if this is less than, uh, which mean, uh, which mean you have to increment your lower value, which is x, right? So, and then if this is greater, then uh, this mean like y is too big because y starting from one thousand, so y just decrement. And this is going to be pretty much a solution. So let me just stop coding and, and then maybe you understand quickly. So list of ints and list of list of integer, right? So I'm going to result new array list. I'm going to return result. I need to generate x equal to 1, y equal to 1000, right? So, uh, Based on the input, so this is the input, and then we will just try first. So while x is less than or equal to 1000, and also y is greater than or equal to 1, right? So uh, one is increment until 1000, the other one decrement until 1, and then you will just have to say, okay, what is the current value for the custom, custom function dot f, x, and y, right? So if the value is actually equal to z, so I can just say result dot f. And then a radar ls and I'll pass x and y into the list of lists, right? So this is generate a new new array list, and then you need to, uh, you will have to uh, input for the array list. So you just add into the result. Then when we add, then we can have to increment our and decrement our y, right? So else it x uh, sorry val is less than less than z. So what does val less than z mean? So x is too small, so just basically increment x, and then the other way is going to be greater, so you can say else is val is greater than z, right? But this is only the last case, I'm going to use else, so just y decrement. And this is going to be the solution, so let me run it. Alright, let's talk about time and space. So for the space, it's going to, you're going to have uh, n pairs, right? So uh, for example, like 1 to 4 and 4 to 1, they are actually look like the same, right? So it's going to be n pairs in, in general. And the time, you have to traverse from 1 to 1000, right? So it's going to be all of n. So time and space are all of n. And n represent what? n represent the, the length between 1 and 1000. So it's going to be 1001. And this is the solution, and I'll see you next time. Bye.